Welcome back to Biz Asia America. I'm Elaine Reyes with your world news. The 18th CPC National Congress is well underway in Beijing. We continue our Global Expectation Series with Julia Cheng Block. She's founder and president of the U.S.-China Education Trust and former U.S. Ambassador to the Kingdom of Nepal. She is also the first Asian American to represent the U.S. as a diplomat. I asked her her thoughts on the National Congress so far and the future of China-U.S. relations. I am hopeful because I think both countries recognize that this is the most important bilateral relationship in the world today. That if our two countries don't get along, I don't think the world has a hope for peace, prosperity, going forward. So I think there is hope. But I think there's a need to bring the U.S.-China relationship back to normal. But then the question is, what is normal? I think there's a need for our two new leaders. And this doesn't happen too often when our two countries change leadership, that the two leaders, I think, need to first and foremost build mutual trust. Trust is lacking in the U.S.-China relationship. And without it, that relationship cannot stabilize. And I think the two leaders need to figure out how to stop the ups and downs in this very important relationship. With your experience in the public and corporate fields in the United States, where do you think the most urgent reform is needed in China? I think President Hu Jintao said it. I mean, if you're talking about China's domestic policies, I think unless China controls or puts an end to the endemic corruption in the country at all levels of society, I think China is going to have problems. The other issue is inequality. I think that China's new leaders must figure out how the phenomenal growth, which is admired around the world, how the benefits of that growth can be shared more equally between the coastal regions and the interior, between the mega millionaires and billionaires and the average citizens. With your focus on education, do you see or do you believe that the people of both countries have a better understanding of one another? Are we getting there? I think, of course, people in China and America understand each other better because I mean, I went back to China in the 70s. And right after, we started having diplomatic relations. In those days, there was no interchange. So of course, there were many more misperceptions. Uh, but those misperceptions have not gone away entirely. Even though today, I mean, we've got 160,000 Chinese students studying in America. American students, however, are only at about 20,000 in China. We need to get many more Americans to go to China to study. However, the good news is that percentage of Americans going to China to study has grown 10 percent every year. As China rises, as China becomes an economic, or is already an economic juggernaut. More and more people, not just Americans, will want to understand China. So it can only get better 